So next up on the list is actually some things that you could be avoiding on a daily basis. If you want to continue to influence, positively influence your gut flora, uh, definitely avoid these things when you can. So the first up on the list is antibiotics. And that is, should be pretty obvious. You know, some people, I guess, maybe don't think about this, but like probiotics, antibiotics. So the antibiotics is going to, they're going to kill bacteria. So a lot of people are actually on antibiotics all the time and they wonder why uh, they have bad digestive problems and, and a lot of stress in their life. And it's because of the antibiotics. Uh, it's really like ravaging the, the flora in your gut. If you can afford to go off of antibiotics, I would definitely go off of them or I'd reduce the, the uh, dose until, you know, you're not having to take them anymore unless it's for an acute issue, like you really have to get rid of some bacterial overgrowth or something that's, that's or some bacterial infection. Uh, but after that, I, I know bacteria or antibiotics, people like really, really uh, should not be taking them. There's a little little dude riding a like, scooter by. It sounded like a, like a giant lawnmower or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if that even came through the microphone or not. But uh, next up on the list is, is uh, tap water. So you want to be filtering your water. So the all the chemicals in tap water, all the common chem, there's tons of stuff in tap water. It's going to act against your uh, gut flora, and it's not going to be good. There's a lot of chlorine, a lot of fluoride, not to mention lead, heavy metals in in typical tap water. Especially here in California, uh, we have terrible tap water. It's I mean when when I filter my tap water, there's like big black chunks of stuff in it, like metals and stuff. It's it's insane. So you don't want to be just drinking straight from the tap. It's not good for you. Uh, next up is is processed grains, and a lot of people uh, actually have issues with certain things like gluten and um, lectins. And some people think this is all a hoax. Some people think that it's not. It, it really, if it affects you, if it affects your gut, if it makes you feel bloated, inflamed, then I would not consume uh, the foods that make you feel that way. So that's another one. Another one is just a lot of environmental toxins. Like I was saying with the tap water, there's still a lot of toxins that we're exposed to on a daily basis and potentially consuming. You know, rubbing plastics or BPA in receipts, that sort of stuff, rubbing it all over our skin without even knowing it, you know, touching ourselves. Uh, this stuff is getting into our skin. Our skin is the largest organ of our body and it's basically the absorbent organ. It absorbs things into it. So uh, you want to make sure that you are avoiding things like these pesticides, uh, BPA, phthalates, parabens, herbicides, etc. All right, and then last up on the list of things that you want to reduce and avoid is basically chronic stress. Chronic stress in general is going to be the one major thing that above all gives the biggest massive negative effect on your body. Uh, so when you can re reduce the chronic stress, that's going to be an amazing uh, load off your shoulders. And for, for many reasons... Uh, not to mention it's going to help improve your gut health and your stress levels in general uh, and keeping them a lot lower.